Yield two minutes to a distinguished member of the Ways and Means Committee, the gentleman from Washington State, Mr. Reichert. The gentleman from Washington is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, we've heard yesterday's announcement. Unemployment eclipses 10 percent. And yet today we're considering a health care bill that will cost even more jobs and will raise taxes on families, on small businesses, on seniors, and takes away freedom. This bill especially hurts our seniors, our greatest generation, by cutting their benefits, raising their premiums, and on top of that, taxing wheelchairs, taxing pacemakers, taxing hearing aids. This bill is not right for America. It's not right for families. It's not right for small businesses, and it's not right for seniors. We need real solutions. Let's focus on reducing the cost, maybe, offer tax incentives, enact medical liability reform, allow people to buy insurance across state lines. These solutions bring lower costs and bring health care to those who really need it. Mr. Speaker, the most troubling aspect, though, of this bill is that it takes away freedom. And this freedom, Mr. Speaker, the House is not in order. The gentleman is correct. The House will be in order. Mr. Speaker, the most troubling aspect of this bill is that it takes away freedom. And this freedom came through great sacrifice, the sacrifice of men and women throughout history of this great nation so that we could choose and live a free life. This bill, bill takes away that freedom, the freedom to choose the health care that's right for you and your family. This bill takes away that freedom, requiring every American to purchase a government-approved health plan, pay a tax, or even go to jail. This bill takes away that freedom of patients to consult with their doctors without government interference. And this bill takes away that freedom, the freedom of our seniors to choose their own health care plan. So, Mr. Speaker, this is not only a job-killing bill. Mr. Speaker, sad to say, this is a freedom-killing bill. I yield back. The gentleman from Washington yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from Michigan.